We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, which seeks out innovative ideas that could help our environment. Could burning garbage be part of America's energy future? It's a hot trend in renewable energy across Europe, but it's been slow to catch on. Here in the United States, Planet Forward host Frank Cessno has more. One man's trash is another man's energy. At least in Alexandria, Virginia, the local government there partnered with Covanta Energy Corporation to power more than 20,000 homes with a process called Waste to Energy. They've stayed ahead of EPA regs over the years by being innovators themselves, fitting their furnaces with filtration technology, for example, to neutralize acid gas, capture harmful materials through a bag house system. They're 80 to 90 percent under certain EPA emissions limits. We get about a thousand tons of trash a day, and we process a thousand tons of trash a day. The reality is we as a society still throw out a lot of trash, even after our recycling efforts. It's like an oversized arcade game. A crane claw picks up the garbage, drops it into one of three hoppers, then a combustion chamber. They're surrounded by steel tubes where water passes through there. When you expose that water to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it's converted to steam. That steam spins a turbine generator to make electricity. The biggest byproduct of this plant is ash. They run that through a magnet to recover iron for recycling. The rest is sent to a nearby facility where a state-of-the-art magnet system catches more metals that previously went to waste. A student of philosophy and ethics, Alexandria recycling specialist Michael Clem brings his unique perspective to trash. You've got to go over that ethical issue of, hey, it's our garbage, we made it, we should deal with it. We burn it to generate electricity. Because the alternative is to send it 80 miles away, uh, buried in a landfill next to a, uh, a poor community. Clem says he's become a convert to waste to energy. 20 years ago, as an environmentalist, I would say the big thumbs down to the whole idea. It's because of the emission systems weren't developed 20 years ago as nicely as they are now. Indeed, today's plants are a far cry from the incinerators of the 80s, and new research focuses on groundbreaking gasification for even better energy production and emissions reduction. Taking trash out of landfills and turning it into energy to try to move the planet forward. For Planet Forward, I'm Frank Sesno. If you have an idea you'd like to submit, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out Bloomberg.com slash sustainability.